Today's global news hour from Edmonton was packed with significant updates. On Monday, September 30, 2024, residents of Alberta gathered in various ways to mark the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Events were held to honor the survivors of residential schools and to remember those indigenous children who never made it home. A powerful Orange Shirt Day run took place at Kinsman Park, drawing hundreds of participants, including survivors. Anita Cardinal, director of the race, emphasized the importance of this event in shining a light on the painful truth of residential schools and in combating any denialism surrounding their dark history. The day was filled with prayers, drumming, and waves of people wearing orange, each person contributing to the ongoing dialogue about healing and reconciliation. Elsewhere in the news, a growing number of Albertans are calling on the provincial government to raise the minimum wage. Currently, Alberta is set to have the lowest minimum wage in Canada, a fact that is sparking protests and concerns among the working class. Advocates are pushing for an increase, emphasizing the rising cost of living, especially in light of inflation. This debate over wage policies is expected to continue as more groups raise their voices in support of change. In other stories, the University of Alberta has introduced a new innovation designed to better protect wildland firefighters. A specially developed shirt offers advanced protection, reflecting the university's commitment to research that serves the community's needs. As wildfires continue to affect regions in and around Alberta, this breakthrough could play a crucial role in enhancing firefighter safety in the future. The September 30th broadcast also covered local achievements. Edmonton's Chinatown unveiled a vibrant new mural, and the University of Alberta's golf team celebrated a perfect season, adding a positive note to the day's news. These stories reflect Edmonton's dynamic community spirit, which ranges from art and culture to sports and academic innovation. As the community marks the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation and grapples with crucial socio-economic issues like the minimum wage, Edmonton remains a city that both honors its past and looks towards a progressive future. Stay subscribed for more videos.